Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making, well, okay. Have you ever like seen a recipe on a blog and then you scroll down to the reviews and it's people that are like recreating it, making their own, and then reviewing that where they're like, ah, oh, this wasn't that good. And I did this, this, and that. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing, but it wasn't on purpose. I was set out to make Dr. Lisa Wiedemann's Buffalo chicken, Buffalo chicken magic. And I was going to leave out the hot sauce because I'm making this for my kids. And when I went to grab the blue cheese, I opened it and I'm like, it looks a little weird. It smells a little weird. And you know, it's weird. Let's play a drinking game with the word weird. Um, how can moldy cheese get moldy again? Anyways, it didn't smell good. So I figured I'm going to swap out the sour cream for where hers calls for blue cheese, unfortunately, because I love blue cheese. And hers calls for hot sauce and I wasn't going to use it for my kids, but then I saw some of this Chipotle in there. So I'm like, oh, I'll just throw a little bit in this um, just to kick up some flavor. So I guess it's now inspired by Dr. Lisa's recipe, but hers sounds amazing. So definitely go check that out. As far as the cream I'm using, I'm using this and I do not recommend it. <laughs> it has gums in it. And the reason why I bought it is because I was making a birthday cake for Archer and it was just, we were going to use a lot of cream and the one we typically use for like our coffees and whatnot, like it's expensive. So once in a while, if I need a lot, I will use this, but I'm going to save this for Jeff's coffee and my mom when she's over, she'll use that too. And what else? Calls for bacon bits. You can make your own. I'm taking the lazy way out. Her recipe also calls for um, canned chicken, which is great. I'm going to use fresh chicken. So if you, you can see it's cooking, if you can hear that, that's what the noise is. I have the chicken breast in my air fryer and um, I'll put her recipe below, but hers calls for two of the large cans. So it's like 12 and a half ounces, I think from Costco drained. I believe it said seven ounces. So I'm going to be measuring out essentially 14 ounces, and that's like the cooked weight, 14 ounces of this chicken breast that's in here. If you have seen my channel before, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Courtney Luna. I am a two-year carnivore. I am down 55 pounds. I've been able to go off of my Zoloft. I've cleared my acne. I have more energy, um, all from eating a carnivore diet. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna get all these things ready while my chicken finishes cooking. Oh, and I forgot the little dehydrated chopped onion that is hiding here. Of course, if you are strictly plant-free, leave this out, but I thought it would be nice, and it is in her original recipe. All right, so let's get started. First, it calls for eight ounces of cream cheese, which is like a normal like block package, but I'm going to weigh mine out. Oh, come on, this is the flimsiest little spatula spoon. Should have got something a little more sturdy. And you want it like soft and I'll probably throw this whole dish in the microwave for a little bit just to get it super soft. And you can mix all this in a regular um, bowl and just mix by hand. But Dr. Lee says like she wants to get the most use out of her KitchenAid stand mixer. So I figured that's what I'm going to do too. So get eight, okay, 8.4. Oops, good enough. And then two cups of shredded cheddar. Watch those fingers. All right, I'm gonna eyeball mine. This is about a cup, I would say. Let's do the rest. Oh, come on, need a knife. Her recipe calls for four ounces of blue cheese, but since I do not have that, I'm going to use four ounces of sour cream. All right, that's roughly another cup. So we're gonna add four ounces of sour cream to this. There we go. Oh, and the chicken is done. And then her recipe calls for half a cup of red sauce, like a hot red sauce, which I'm not using. So I am going to add a little bit extra cream. Hers calls for half a cup of cream, or you can, and she also mentions you can do more cream. If you want it more of like this to be like a saucy kind of dip, if you have chip, meat chips to serve with it, but she usually just has it a little bit more sturdy and she'll use it as a side dish. So I'm going to do extra cream since I'm not using the hot sauce. And then I'm just gonna do a little dash of this. So I'm gonna do one cup of cream. A little blob of this. Is this even still good? Jeff, well, I can't say what he uses it for. It's a secret ingredient for something he makes. So we'll do a little dab just for some flavor two tablespoons of the chopped onion 
which I did buy specifically for this. If only I would have checked my blue cheese. I didn't think it was that old. Oh, hopefully my dentist isn't watching this. Dang. Dang, Gina. Two tablespoons. I'll eyeball that. Yeah, maybe two and a half. And then half a cup of bacon bits, which looks to be... This seems like this whole package. She also adds a little bit more on top. Um, so I will set some out just for some garnish, and we'll dump the whole thing in. Oh, let's not put that in there. And let the KitchenAid mixer mix this up while I chop the chicken. Got the chicken. Nothing special. I didn't even season it. I'll probably add a little salt on it. I'm going to see how much this does now that it's cooked it was like i think 1.6 pounds raw and we're aiming for 14 ounces cooked it's a little over hot let's take a chunk off i mean having extra chicken and wouldn't be bad i already went rogue with this recipe anyways but let's see hot okay 15 ounces close enough we're gonna do that Save this for later. That's probably going to be hot. Yeah, God, it's such a disaster. All right, so the sauce is looking good. Woo, wrong way. All right, I'll show that to you. And then I'm going to chop up the chicken and add that to this. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And then we're going to bake it. So 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. Hers got like kind of all brown and crispy on top. It looked really good. Totally recommend letting your chicken cool and not doing what I'm doing, but it's fine. And I would get it as fine as you can. I don't like biting into big chunks of chicken that like, I want it shredded up almost like, like tuna salad, you know? So every bite has a nice cheesy creamy sauce. All right, so we're gonna add it in to this mixture. Jeez, Courtney. We're gonna mix that up and then I'm actually going to bake it in what I had my chicken baking in. So we will set that aside, dump the juice, and then I'll put it back in my air fryer on the oven setting. It looks so good. I'm going to taste it. Nothing's raw in here, right? Oh my gosh. It's good. It's really good. I mean, I would have loved to have that blue cheese in there, but if you are unprepared like I am and don't check your ingredients, I'm going to go ahead. I am going to add a little bit of salt just because I did not season my chicken. Now having that taste, I'm gonna add a little bit like I'm seasoning the chicken. Just give that a quick little mix and we'll put it in the pan. Oh my gosh. I made this for my kids, but I'm gonna have to eat a little bit. I think they're gonna love it too because the chipotle gives it like a nice extra little flavor without being spicy. So it's heavy. So because of like the shredded cheese and stuff, it got browned on top and it looked really good. It had this nice little crust. I'm going to get it nice and flat. Mm. Excuse me a moment. All right, add a little bit of bacon bits. It's so pretty. Gosh, I love eating this way. Like who doesn't want to be, you know, on a bacon cheeseburger diet with ribeyes and dairy and, you know, all that good stuff. All right, I'll see you when it's out of the oven. I'm having a hard time waiting over here. We still have 15 minutes and I feel like it's been five hours already. Looks so good. So I did mine for 30 minutes. There's no way I was waiting an extra five minutes. I thought it was browned enough. Look how beautiful that looks. So amazing. I am the least patient person ever. So let's give myself some third degree burn. Oh my gosh, that looks so hot. Oh, that's going to burn. Bad idea. Courtney. Highly recommend this. Highly recommend making Lisa's version. I'm sure it's even better. Mm. All right, one more bite, and then I'm going to save it for my kids. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up comment, share, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time.